Conclusion, final part. Freedom, freedom doesn't, 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 it, it doesn't need recognition. <laughs> you don't have to say the correct word to buy the food at the grocery store to stay alive and healthy and strong and be able to be powerful thinking about how to solve cancer for a person trying to go to medical school who researches the brain, the body. And enjoys a mind filled with possibility and spontaneity and not behavior. Rules and restrictions and limits and expectations and re uh. and etiquette. Now. Getting out of what I'm talking about <laughs> requires so much energy not available now <laughs> in Capitol Hill, Seattle, Washington. Out in the woods in the Ozarks, you just go get some, you go get some wild deer and let the people in the city starve from their stupidity, <laughs> arguing about words and letters and language sentences and not acknowledging their now <laughs> and what their now has can be described in what I'm doing now frozen in time during what they say has to do with climate and the change and the warming weather and the rising oceans and all the people who are going to be displaced and immigrate here now who are going to flee where they're at now and have to find a new place now Now, 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 What's been done has to do with confusion and misdirection. Losing thoughts and having thinking restrained and limited and controlled within their system and structure with their processes and requirements. Described by biologists as very slight and minimal. Similar to a cell in the hair on the face. A neuron close to the amygdala where the stomach feels the tofu field roast now. No error, no error says anymore, you know, like. They, they deny the option to, 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 to pause it and, and stutter. There's no room for error anymore. <laughs> every, every part of the world on earth now has been so tightly constrained so limited, controlled, and 
well explained. <laughs> Nobody ever wonders anymore. Gosh, what does this have to do with outer space? And more importantly, why test here now? and not decide instead to take what everybody's describing now and go to another place in the solar system, deep space, and find out how well They all do with behavior, rules, restrictions, limits, race, color of skin, dialect, ethnicity, culture, and most definitely stimulus. The experiment takes only a few seconds to conclude as a complete failure. Going in outer space with all of the necessary parts, equipment, objects, energy to grow marijuana, cultivate tobacco, distill alcohol, and record sexual activity and scenes for a movie. Halfway into outer space reaching a black hole, everybody runs out of fertilizer. <laughs> They can't shit or poop anymore and take a dump. Their hormones have been so limited from the people who have already said, I need to take a shit. And someone slaps them and says, you are being inconsiderate and your language needs to get adjusted. And they sit quietly and they lose their appetite. They whittle away. And the strong leaders of the group they keep steering the ship they keep feeding the frail and the weak with a tube not knowing what they do with the dead body when the person dies and to prevent the stench and to prevent the disease from the decay, they keep them alive with small amounts to save the rest for the tribe, for the group who are social and caring and thoughtful to get ready for the black hole. And then they all start staring when they smoke their last puff and sip their last martini. Hit autopilot and go. With a mystery. How did they go? Why did they go and not move? And then more people follow them. More people go to discover what they learned. 
And they call what they're doing with their hands, their feet, their eyes, their ears, their nose, a movement. And they're activists in outer space, searching for the end to violence, the end to inequality, and the destruction of the people who are in charge of the system, who funds them to do their exploration now. The most beneficial part of living in the world now has to do with the, 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 the easiest to accomplish activity, not interrupted or not consciously disrupted, has to do with just watching the, the numbers go tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock. Get ready for the eventual silence with sleep and the peace and the calm from rest and repeat over and over. In what I'm describing, currently everyone wants and are choosing to then be able to restart the world and give civilization and society a better way forward. With no explanation for how the behavior from a brain and a body, not evolved in that short of a time, to not make language and not make the hand do a circle with two fingers while the others are so racist and dumb. Domination has been said over and over already in crime data and information. The man who's in charge, the Manson, with his drugs and his strangeness, Jeffrey Dahmer, Kim Jong-un's sister, his wife, him, Hitler, Stalin, and a little bit with Napoleon. And now from what I saw with the statue of Gandhi, they're starting to say some of the people who practice nonviolence, trying to dominate the world with their peace and their calm and not their anarchy and their progress. And also Google, Facebook, and all the other internet technology businesses who have the time so limited, so small. Now doesn't make sense anymore. Now. 